Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, today's video is going to be try to make it a speed reviews video, <laughs> but you know, sometimes you get to talking and then just goes. Anyways, today, like I said, it's going to be just a review of products that I've been um, trying and from previous hauls and previous um, try-on hauls or previous looks that I actually haven't come back to do a review on and I needed to do that. And some things I don't think I featured in a haul, but I purchased them and I want to make sure that you know that what my thoughts and opinions are in case you have ever wondered or you have were considering buying this item or just had questions in general um yeah there's still more reviews coming i'm probably gonna do one more um before the end of the year maybe two i try to do it in sets of 10 so it just makes it a lot quicker easier to get through so with that let's go ahead and make this not a long intro um if you're new here i hope you consider subscribing if you haven't already and don't forget to hit that like button to let me know that you are liking these type of videos i do enjoy i do enjoy doing these quick reviews just because um sometimes i'm curious about an item and and i just need like two three points where is it good or is it not why or why not basically um don't forget to follow me on instagram also and just for reference, I have oily skin, I have pores, um, just because I do have a couple face products in this. Uh, let's start. Alright, so let's go ahead and start with the Natasha Denona Glam Palette. So, I actually did a video on this palette. A full comparison video with other palettes and somehow I forgot to upload it. I don't understand where my head was. But if you still want to see it or if you want to see a revamped version of it, with the taupe palette that just came out um well came out last week when i'm filming this is like last week being on colourpop world it's like a year ago um so i would definitely do another review or redo it if you would like to see that please just let me know um yeah i just kind of messed up with that video i might still pull it up i'm not sure but this um this okay so this palette is going, it's like, has become one of my favorites. Honestly, it's an everyday palette. It's very neutral, very beautiful, but it still has different colors to wear. If you want a little extra, you, you know, you can get it. Uh, there are a couple shades in here that are more satin versus matte. Uh, like the, I forgot the names. And I really don't like the names when I started working with it. It didn't bother me when I saw it it, come, it came out and all that. It didn't bother me. But now as I'm referencing them, and I just, I, it bothers me. It bothers me so much. Um, but, I mean, it's just when I'm using it. Otherwise, I don't, I don't really care. I don't think about it. It's just makeup. It's not that deep. But like I said, the, um, this shade right here and this shade, I believe they're two. Hold on. Okay, yeah. Basically, all the outer corner, all the outer um, lid shades are a little bit more satiny, not as ba ba boom in your face. And definitely, the most ba ba boom shades are going to be your center eyelids. And this brow bone, it's not as shimmery as you would think it is. It looks very shimmery, and very bright because the light is hitting here in the camera. But once you put it on and blend it out on your brow bone, it actually is really nice. I don't like shimmery shades on my brow bone, so I just use that as an inner corner highlight or an over lid. Whatever you want to use it as, it works perfectly fine. But I like the balance between the more satiny shades in this palette and the more... Um, very glittery very metallic shades because if you really do want an every more of an everyday color you can always just go with a little bit more less um, craziness less you know calling attention to your eye or you can always vamp it up for a nighttime look or for a day a daytime uh, date night look or just a weekend look if you're not going if you're not a working or everyday look just depends um i do like that variety the mattes are really really nice i just wish they would have included a more of a purpley matte um that would have been really nice too just like a tinge of matte um matte color i have one from color pop that i wish i could show you but it's not i don't have it here and i'm too lazy to get it um but i will list it down in the description box to kind of give you an idea and that way you can see it and just in general those taupey colors love those but yeah i really really do love this and i do recommend it and the vib cell is coming up so definitely definitely recommend this if you were thinking about it all right quickly gonna hit m cosmetics and m cosmetics i bought blushes i only got to try this blush so far and this is the venetian rose blush i think i've 
talked about this a couple times. I love this color. It's like a neutrally blush. Like not the color blush. I mean it's like the color blush, not the product blush. But it's like a vintagey. It's called Vintage Rose. So it's a very blushy, neutrally color and it's just so beautiful and that's what it looks like blended out but you can always build it up and it's so beautiful it works well under and over powders i've used it on both um i always like to try both under and over powders i want to see what liquid blushes work and how they work and i like to try them a variety of ways and they, these work so beautifully like if you have dry skin you might not want to set it you just want to leave that dewiness but if you have oily skin you will want to set this and again you can either put it under or over powder and it works beautifully they have a lot of shades in this i have three shades and so far this is my favorite shade i have rose milk sunset sky and vintage rose and this one ah chef's kiss one thing if you pick nothing else from this oh no they're all good i have one okay two okay items and everything else is great um but this is definitely the cream of the crop these two little lip cushions from n cosmetics i only have two shades i don't have the other two i'm thinking about picking them up but not just quite yet just because they might come out with more shades or you know the sitch that we're in right now um, but these, they're, called, they're actually called the Lip Cushion Tinted Lip Luminizer. Guys, these are the, like, one of the best lip products I own in my entire collection. Like, when I say favorite, one of my favorite, it's favorite. It's like lip gloss, lip balm, lip color, all in one. Oh, but it just... You truly, truly feel the difference in how hydrating and moisturizing these are hours after... You put these on. I had already talked about these in my haul. I just wanted to give you a for more for a more formal review. Um, this one here is Vintage Rose, and then this one is Magic Hour. <sighs> like I said, beautiful. The color you think because it has color it would go somewhere, it really doesn't. It sticks to your lips, but not in a sticky way whatsoever. And it just feels hydrating, but it's glossy like a lip gloss. And it just gives you a little bit of color, not too much. And like I said, you do feel the difference after you wear it. Because one day I had put it on just to try it. And then maybe a couple hours later, I forgot that I had something on my lips. Because it feels that lightweight. And then I'm just like, to my lips, I'm like, wow, these feel really nice. What, what did I put on? And I couldn't remember for the life of me what I had put on. And then, because these were just laying on my vanity table, I went and I'm like, oh my gosh, it was those. Since then, I have fallen in love. So it's kind of like, a, it was like a blind test because I forgot what I had put on and just, whew, so good. Like I said, so, so good. And they have a couple sets for the holidays, so I recommend you looking into those. All right, let's go with an okay product. Um, and this will be from Fenty Beauty, and this is their powder in the shade Butter. I had heard so many rave reviews about this powder. It's good. It's not great. Like, it's if I have oily skin, so I use powders a lot. I need a good powder that's going to keep my oils at bay, but not make me look cakey. I need something to blow my pores, too. It wouldn't hurt. Um, it's good. It doesn't It's not one of my favorite powders, but if you wanted to try it out, I would definitely recommend the mini size because this is the mini size, and that has a lot of powder. You don't need to buy a full-size powder. And if you were, there's better powders out there, especially if you're oily skin than this one to keep your oils at bay just to let you know okay but if you're dry skin just for your under eyes but if you're going to do that you might as well buy something that's drugstore and good if you're just going to do your under eyes just to let you know okay continuing with my amazing products these are so good guys oh like everything in here just looking at it, i'm like oh i did so many full faces of most of this makeup like over my stash and everything Whew. okay Another, well, one blush that I need to include in this is the Patrick Ta, uh, what is it called? Patrick Ta Double Take Creme and Powder Blush in the shade She's So Olay. This has become one of my favorite blushes ever. Um, I love that you can, you have two, the cream and the powder. So basically you can do four looks with one blush. You can do this alone and they're actually quite different. You think they wouldn't be. Let me sh swatch them so you can actually see the difference. 
So there you go. Do you see what I mean? That you can actually do four different looks with this blush. Okay, I'll talk to you about which ones they are in a second. Okay, there they are. You can build these up. These are very buildable. And so the four ways that this can work for you to so create different looks with just this one product, you can do the cream part by itself or the powder part by itself, or you can do the cream underneath the powder over the cream or or this is new this is especially new for this product this is the thing with this product you can do the cream over the powder i've tried all four ways i love every single combination and you actually do see the difference because there are they are a tonal differences and it looks beautiful i love this formulation so much more than the monochromatic blush i like that one but this I love and when summer comes around I'm definitely going to be buying that peach shade. I hope it comes out with more colors because mm, the plummy one. Ooh, the plummy one looks really pretty too. So the next product is going to be from Oma Beauty and this is my first product from Oma Beauty and I cannot wait to try more. This is so so good. All the reviews and everybody talking so good about this and saying that it's a great foundation. So true. Of course I had my reservations because they were talking about how it really does give you like almost full coverage and on the website they describe it as a medium to full coverage foundation and it says weightless soft matte hydrating foundation this is beautiful beautiful this is what I have on today I don't know if you can really see it but this is such a good foundation. Like I said, I have oily skin and it works perfectly fine. I've seen people who use dry, who have dry skin and use this and love it. It is a light, 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 lightweight foundation. Not only that, it's very liquidy. Very, very liquidy. I did not expect that. That's why, I, I don't know if that's the, just the way it was built, but it got dirty the first time I tried it. After that, no issues with it. But because it's so liquidy and it just gives you so much coverage, but not in a bad way. Like you can, your skin is still your skin. It's not like you put on a mask automatically. Um, it just, you use the littlest, tiniest bit and it gives you enough to where you can build it as a light, medium, or even full coverage foundation. It still will not be cakey or uh, just look like a mask on. It's a beautiful foundation. It's probably one of my favorite cover foundations so far. Um, I don't have a lot to cover to be honest. I had like one pimple and the, like the biggest little monster for the biggest of like a week in the middle of my forehead and then I don't really have any spots or anything to really cover up so I don't that's why I don't like full coverage foundations I don't need that I just need more like an evening tone foundation TC cream tint and moisturizer whatever you want to call it I like all those things so for my preferences medium coverage and you can build it up to full I have personally haven't built it up because I don't like to it's not my vibe, so for me, this is it. But if you like a full coverage foundation right off the bat, this might not be your vibe, you know, but you can always try it and just, you know, try it out and see how you like it because it's such a lightweight foundation, you can build it up without needing to feel so, like, masked and tight and everything on the face. Going in with one palette, the other palette that I have is the Dreamy palette from Nala, and then I have the Cutie and the Berry one. I haven't tried the Berry one quite yet, which is why I don't, I'm not going to include it yet, but I tried this one in the Dreamy palette. The Dreamy original palette is beautiful. It's very more toned down, purples, uh, like uh, lavender purples, beautiful palette, but this one, it's like it's nighttime sister. And this one also has a variety of finishes. It's just starting off with the packaging. It is a beautiful packaging. If you're worried about international shipping and how it's gonna get to you and will it survive the whole international journey? It will survive the international journey. I bought this, the very cute palette, and then I bought the next things that I'm gonna talk about. I bought them all on the Nabla website. Everything shipped beautifully. There was only like one of the shades in the very one shifted, but I fixed it perfectly and then something else happened one of the other products but not a big deal i fixed it too and i'll explain in a second but back to this palette this like i said it has a variety of finishes it has three true mattes and then these cream to powder formulas um they're called latex mattes, mattes i believe that's what they're called and they're similar to the natasha denona cream to mattes but i feel like these are a little bit easier to work with to be honest um and very buildable and they just don't feel like because these are the deeper shades, they don't feel like it's too hard and too intimidating, intimidating to work with. And then 
all the shimmers I absolutely love. This one looks like a white, but it's actually more like a topper. This one's more of a topper, and then this one, these two are more of topper shades right here. Uh, the other ones are true shimmers, these four. And this one is more like a glittery shimmer. I don't know if you can actually, hold on, see the difference right there? Let me see. Ah! Oh! Me and my butterfingers, I swear. Like, yeah. But they all work so beautifully. That one's a lot more shimmer. Shimmer. And this one also is a lot more shimmer. I forgot about that, even though, you know. But this one works better if you put use a brush on it. It feels like it won't because it is a little dry, like it's not going to work. But honestly, you can almost stamp it on there and it works per perfectly fine. I think it is... Let me build it up so you can actually see it. When I say it's a beautiful shade, you guys, it is such a beautiful shade. Beautiful shade. Okay, there you go. Those are the two that are a little bit more glittery. But still, they're so beautiful and definitely buildable. Um, like you can build it up to your desired level of glitteriness. And a, bl a brush works best with these. I've discovered. And then the other three are definitely other four. Excuse me, are definitely. Oh no, three. Confused. One, two, three are true shimmers. So you got your two glittery ones and then your topper shades. But they don't work like other ones where you're like you feel like you're not getting anything. These work very, very well. So I would recommend either one. And they're all on Ulta too. So if you don't want to ship even... If you don't want to purchase on the Nabla website, if you're a little, you know, concerned about shipping, it were arrived perfectly fine to me. Um, just to let you know, they are on Ulta.com. These three are going to be from Nabla's Skin Glazing line. So I have a blush, a bronzer, and a highlight. So I'm going to talk about the issue that I had with the highlight, um, just to let you know. So when this came, when this arrived, okay, so when this highlight arrived, is in the shade Amnesia. The whole thing had, um, let me hold it up like this, just in case. The whole thing kind of like broke off the actual pan that it was holding onto, or that it's supposed to be on. So what I did, I took super glue, because I was not about to repress this beauty. I took super glue, because I know I'm not going to get through this, and if I do... I'll just repurchase another one. Um, so, like, I really will get through it. Okay, dream on. Um, I just put it back on. Like, the, the actual highlight pan product was, like, one piece. So, I just kind of put super glue on there. And what I did was I flipped it over, put the super glue, opened it up, put the super glue, and then I closed it again. Flipped it over, just moved it into the spot, and I fixed it, and it's perfectly fine. So, no big deal. That's the only thing that really happened. Um, but, these are so good. I mean, these are some of the best cheek products I have ever tried. And you know how many blushes I have. I don't have all the blushes in the world. I don't have all the bronzers, and I don't have all the highlights. But what I own, these are probably top, top, top. I top, top blushes and top bronzers. Like, they're so beautiful. They truly don't look like anything on your skin. Like, that is the highlight. I hope you can see it because there is no shimmer. There is no glitter to it. It is just a glaze and a powder formula. And it is beautiful. I want every single shade of these. Every single one. Because they're so beautiful. Like, I cannot believe how beautiful, how beautiful. Not only the colors, but the formula. Oh, look at that. Like I said, no shimmer, no glitter, just pure, beautiful color. And they all have luminosity and a glaze to it. Oh, it's so beautiful, guys. So beautiful. Let me put a little bit more of the bronzer so you can actually see it. I definitely think I want to go down or buy another bronzer in the Soft Revenge color just because it is a little bit more uh, cool toned. But, oh, I want all of these, all the highlighters. I want all the blushes. It's so beautiful. If Ulta ever has a sale, I'm going to run, not walk, run to that sale because I want every single shade. They are $24.00. So a little mindful of that, but definitely even worth the $24, to be honest. But if I can get them on sale, because you know I love a sale, I'll get it on sale. <laughs> okay, the last item is, okay, I know we're going to end on a, not a bad note, 
just not my favorite either um, but it is a good formula very good formula it's just not my preference until I put it on which which is weird so let me explain the last um the last item we're going to talk about is the Jouer uh, what is it called? Molten Glow Highlight. I know a lot of people rave about this highlight and it is a beautiful formula. It really, really, truly is a beautiful formula. The color though, the color in the pan is what turns me off to this product. Like it's beautiful packaging, but just the color in the pan, it's just kind of wah, wah, wah. But even swatching it, it's kind of wah, wah, wah. I, I don't like gold highlights. I should probably, pref um, you know, have said that first. But once you put this on the skin, it's gold but champagne-y. Even, like, if I move it around, it still has that champagne glow to it. But this formula is so good. It's all, it kind of reminiscent of the Nabla, but the Nabla is more seamless on the skin than this one. This one, you can see it until you kind of really work it in and blend it into the skin. But this formula, this one's supposed to be even better than the their actual highlight form formula and this is from Jouer oh my gosh the Jouer Molten Glow limited edition highlight I personally have the rose quartz in this on um, the Jouer original formula or their formula whatever that formula is I love it I absolutely love the highlight it is a blinding highlight so is this one but I like I love it I love the formula it's not the first one that I tried from Jouer so it's not the formula it's just the color that I'm a little bit on it I like it. Maybe once summer rolls around, I'll like it more because I did buy this towards the end of summer. So maybe once summer comes around, I just want all the bronziness, all the goldiness on me. So maybe it's just the time period that I'm in right now. I'm not sure. But I do like the formula. I would not declutter that. Uh, it was an expensive highlight, but it's just, it's a beautiful formula. So I do like it. I don't love it. So that was pretty much it. I tried to do it as fast as I could, trying to give you my preferences and explaining why I love each product or why I thought it was okay. Um, if you want to see more from these, uh, more of these, just stay tuned. I'm planning to do more probably within the next month. Um, so yeah, and then definitely I'm going to do a favorites at the end of the year. Stay tuned for that. That's going to be so much fun to do. Um, so yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed. Give it a like. Let me know what your thoughts are below. If you tried any of these items or if you have questions about any of these items, let me know. Be happy to answer them. And I hope you have a great rest of your day. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.